My name is Jun Jun Lee. I'm the visual art teacher from Success Centers. Today, I would like to show you how to paint the abstract landscapes. I'm using this small canvas because it takes shorter time and I will show you some important techniques that I learned. For the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you the materials we're going to use. Then I will show you the steps. First of all, we need some oil paints. I already put it in the palette, which is uh, using the ice cube uh, container, and it's including the cover so I can use it to mix colors. And then some brushes. I usually pick um, different sizes of brushes, and I like to introduce you to the front brush today. It's really fun to use. Then the last, we need some tubanol. You can easily get it from the art supply store or order online from Amazon. And I usually keep it in a drawer so you can keep it for the next time. Usually I can keep it for a few months because um, after a while it will just sink down and you, sink, you can use the, the top when it's um, still clear. All right, let's start. So I have a six by six canvas. I like the deep canvas, it's one and a half inch deep and it gives some uh, three dimensional effects. Let's see, we're gonna put this here as the inspirations. We already have all these colors. So I'm gonna try something new. Let's see. Maybe I'll try the orange color. So first of all, I like to use the tubanol to wet my brush. You see how this tubanol is already have all the histories of my paintings for the past couple months. So whatever the color comes here, it's really precious. because it takes time to mix some really sophisticated colors, which is the leftover. Imagine you have all these leftover foods and then make a stool. And uh, a couple days, the stool is delicious. So, I am making some yellow and purple. In the beginning, it's really thin. Okay, I'm gonna put this away so you can see a little bit better. Okay, and then I'm keep adding, use the fan brush. adding the colors layer by layer so you can study seeing the orange color okay then in the bottom I think I'm gonna put some blue As the ocean so you can see two colors one from the top one from the bottom it's marching I'm just keeping my very stable hand to complete this step it doesn't has to be even but keeping the hand stable it makes us draw apply the same pressure. I'm not using the wrist or fingers. I'm using my whole arm. Okay. So now this is the fun part. You can see the, the blue and the orange. 
is there. I'm gonna make it really smooth. Very smooth trans transforming. So you see from the top to the bottom using the friend brush. Again, I'm keeping the stable hand and putting the same pressure. So I have the ocean and the sunset in my mind. It come up with something very abstract. You don't see the ocean, you probably don't see the sun, but the color is there and the feeling is there. All right, so that's the first layer. I do that. And the second layer, I probably add a small island. in the ocean. I'm gonna use the brown color. So first I put the turbinor, make sure that it's wet and able to carry the paint drip away. Then I make some darker brown. So I'm adding if you can see my palette, I'm adding some black into the brown. I add it in the center of the island. So now I'm gonna lift up the canvas, left and right, to let it drip. Now the tubernor and the gravity is doing its work for you. This is a good practice that we're letting go of our control and desire to make this painting. But let this painting comes to you. In another words, have this mindscape, have this landscape in your mind and let it show up on the canvas and you see how the liquid carry the paint slowly dripping towards the ground whatever direction you point it to so it's actually you have some control because you can stop at the point you like and then tilt it to another side I think now I'm pretty happy with this. It's very subtle. Today is a rainy day. You probably hear the thunderstorm from a distance. So I think that reflect the thunderstorms around me. All right, the next, I'm gonna show you another step, another technique of doing the canvas like this. As you can see, it's more solid, less liquid. And it's more of a very minimal color palette. This would be fun, put it right next to this. It's a strong contrast. And now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, we're using the thicker color Let's see, uh, this time probably I do the darker blue. So me, I'm using a the canvas as the palette, but I would suggest you to use the actual palette so you have more control of the color you want. So I'm just very gently fill in the colors. You see that this time I did not use much of the turbinol. 
I'm just using one brush and I'm keeping the center light. Okay, so now I see the color is a little bit um, boring because it's all black and blue. So I'm gonna add another color, which is the purple. We'll see how it comes out. I think I like this better. Maybe add a little bit of brown. And you can see that I'm keeping the center light. And we can turn around. And do this as well. All right. The next step, we're gonna use the paper towel. Okay. And we start circle from the center. Very gentle. Very gentle. Circle. And push to the edges. Okay. So you can see that the blue it's um, shining through the purple. That's what we like to see. And I'm gonna do more of the scraping. So now we are using the paper towel. We're moving the extra paint and make the surface very slow. And if you would like to put some more blue in the center, we can put some blue here on the paper towel directly. This is fun experiment, okay? You can put it in the canvas, you can put it in the paper towel, however you like. Doing art is no white or wall. It's a constantly experiment of using the materials and using tools so I think I'm quite happy with that because I like how the very subtle blue goes through from the center 